What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. Ancestors of the Highest White Light. What is the message? Ooh, the magician. Oh my gosh. Somebody's manifesting. I'm hearing carnelian, but I don't know why I'm hearing carnelian. Maybe somebody has a little sacral chakra imbalance or something like that that's, that's making it difficult for somebody to be able to manifest what they're trying to manifest. Um, I'm also hearing citrine is a great manifesting crystal and tiger's eye. Um, okay, a knight of wands. All right, yeah, I feel like somebody has been really strong for a long time, okay? Maybe emotionally strong, maybe that's why I'm, I'm hearing carnelian. Um, and it's like, the message I'm receiving is, it's like, you've been strong for a really long time, and it's, it's like you've been healing, and it's, I'm hearing like it's time to take a break, but while you're taking a break, it's like somebody's visualizing and trying to manifest what they want, okay? So it's almost like somebody's like multitasking, like healing their body, while they're also like visualizing and manifesting what it is that they want. Um, but the message I'm also receiving is, um, well, here, let's pull some more cards. Yeah, I feel like it, we have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it might be time for you to, like, do it. Like, I don't know, whatever you've been waiting to do, like, it's time, all right? <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm, um, the message I'm kind of receiving here with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like, you know... Go get that money, honey. <laughs> um, I also feel like you have some abundance coming in, so that's great. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, the hermit. Um, I feel like you've you've kind of been uh, grounding in your own energy, and, and you, you're ready to, like, follow your own path, really. You've, 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 manif or you've uh, meditated, and you've, you've set your intentions, and you, you're, you're ready to, you know, go down that path, so to speak. Um, and I feel like some great abundance is going to be on the other end of that, or throughout that journey, rather. What else, Spirit? Mm-hmm. Mm. Knight of Cups. Okay, somebody might want some Angel Aura Quartz. Angel Aura Quartz helps us to uh, connect with our uh, angelic our angelic guides. It helps with angelic communication. Um, but I feel like somebody also might have some new love coming in. We have the Knight of Cups here. Somebody might still be feeling a little sensitive uh, with regards to some, I'm hearing, literally I'm hearing past trauma. So I feel like maybe that's what somebody has been healing and, and that's what, that that may have kind of, I don't know how else to say it, but fucked with their entire reality. So, um, you know, uh, the right person will wait until you're ready. And um, I feel like, you know, you're healing and just focus on yourself. Do what's right for you, okay? What else, spirit? Ancestors of the highest white light. Yeah, the chariot. There's carnelian too. I feel like um, you're moving forward. This is a card of divine movement forward, okay? And just move forward with confidence, all right? And I, I feel like that carnelian will help that that movement forward with confidence and, and um, clarity I'm also hearing. Seven of Wands, hold true to your values. Yeah, you're definitely following on your own path, or you're paving your own path, rather. You're a rogue warrior. I love it. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing great. Let me know in the comments. What's new? What's going on? What are you guys up to? The Hierophant. Oh my gosh. Somebody's a spiritual teacher. Or somebody just has a lot of wisdom and has gained a lot of knowledge through this. I also feel like with the Hierophant card, this is your your spirit guides are looking after you as well, okay? Um, the Hierophant is also a, a, a card of higher, a higher level of commitment, too. And um, it's a card of learning. So, you know, be open to loving and learning and, and learning about love, I'm actually hearing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Ten of Wands. Um, you know, make sure that you are you're taking care of yourself first, though. Like I said, okay. Yeah, you're definitely healing. Okay, we've got the Five of Swords in reverse position. You have healed yourself. Like you, this is a situation that that made you have to heal yourself. Okay, you're really fucking strong. That's what I'm feeling and I'm hearing. But I can feel that in my solar plexus chakra, like for real. Like there's a fire that's getting ready to that's getting ready to go and move, like the chariot. 
hearing citrine again. Yeah, three of wands. You're. I feel like you're just kind of waiting for your ships to come in. You know what I mean? You've kind of, you've been, um, uh, like I'm seeing like a, a fire like billowing, you know, in somebody's solar plexus chakra. It's it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Um, you know, you have everything that you need to to realize your goals, to make them come into being. Mm hmm. Yeah, just release any self-doubt, all right? Confidence is key. You have every right to be confident. You're amazing. You're, you know, I'm hearing trendsetter. I'm hearing um, you're paving your own path, okay? And you're being divinely guided. And you're very strong. And people are going to learn a lot from you and be inspired by you, I'm also hearing, okay? Yes, the Empress. So you're incredibly uh, creative, um, again, I'm hearing carnelian, um, but yeah, I feel like this process, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you're, it's, somebody's manifesting it in a different way. It's like, you're manifesting it in a more, it's like you're manifesting in love as opposed to with fear. So you're, you're manifesting in joy. You're enjoying the process. I feel like somebody's learning how to enjoy the process more. Aww. That's beautiful. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> yeah. What else, spirit? Ancestors. Okay. Yeah, Knight of Wands. I do feel like there's some love coming in. Somebody wants it. Somebody wants it. Um, but I also feel like whatever you're doing, you're very passionate about it. Okay? And... It's again, I'm seeing this fire in somebody's solar plexus chakra just like growing, and this is going to create so much abundance. You know, you're living in your truth, that's what this reading is all about is living in your truth and um, and using all of the tools that you've acquired to to get in there and do it. Okay, you see things for what they are, you, you're, you're an empowered empath, you're, you're discerning, you understand things. Yeah, no judgment card too. This is being divinely guided, so you're you're on the right path. This is great. Look back with compassion for yourself too. In regards to the past, all right, that will help you heal. I'm also hearing malachite, and um, I think that that is the end of the reading. Oh my gosh, this was beautiful energy. I love it. I hope that you are all doing really really amazing today. And um, if you would like a personal reading, please feel free to contact me six one six four eight five three four seven nine. Please just text me. And just give me your name and say hello. I would like to inquire about a reading, and um, and then we can set that up. Um, if you are interested in any of the crystal supports and also interested in helping to support my channel, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. Um, for those of you who don't know, most of the crystals I dug up myself, did all the lapidary work, did all of the metal work, and um, they've all been blessed and charged under the full moon as well. So that's a little extra, and um, yeah, I hope you're all doing really, really amazing. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, until next time, thanks for being here.